Three, two, one. Action. It's time to leave. Will you marry me? Will you be my queen? Yes! No! I am so excited to be back. I missed my whole Descendants family so much on number two, and I get to come back with such an exciting role. Sweet dreams. Yeah, Audrey turns bad. It's about to get a little ugly. Audrey has changed quite a lot in this film. She had the rug pulled from under her feet when Ben professed his love for Mal. Audrey's been hurt too. Maleficent Scepter sort of beckons her, latches onto her, and she becomes this evil sorceress. She is not holding back. She's casting spells on Oridon and doesn't want anyone to get in her way. Sleeping is too good for Oridon. Audrey is in town and she's mad. She wants to cause damage. I was hoping you were home. We're at the recording studio. I just recorded Queen of Mean. The Queen of Mean. The lyrics are just as much of a storyline as the dialogue throughout the film. You know I feel this overwhelming pain. I mean, it's in my veins. I mean, it's in my brain. My thoughts are running in a circle like a toy train. I'm kind of like a perfect picture with a broken frame. I know exactly who to blame. Queen of Mean really encapsulates Audrey's journey. It's been this sort of like pent up anger that she's been feeling and this is finally the moment where she talks about it and she talks about how hurt she is and how lonely she is and how much it's sort of affected her life. She thought she was gonna be queen with Ben by her side. So this song is about how that got taken from her and how she's sort of out for vengeance. If Mal's gonna have that crown, she'd rather no one has it, she'd rather break it. I never thought of myself as me I always thought that I'd be the queen And there's no in between Cause if I can't have that Then I will be the leader of the dark and the bad Now there's a devil on my shoulder where the angels used to be And he's calling me the queen of me that is hard to do all the way through. Oh, my God. No, unbelievable. Congratulations. So unbelievable. The queen of me. This is my evil look, and I'm obsessed. It's such a powerful look. How do you like me now, Betty Boo? <laughs> I'm kind of like a little bit edgier the whole way through. My favorite would definitely be the villain, like the full villain look with the feathers and the darkness and the hair that changes. It's cool to see and as her evil progresses within her, it's shown sort of outwardly. It's been really fun getting to play with the different levels of darkness and delivering it. It's a little bit surreal. It's all sort of coming together, and, and the next time I see it is going to be on the screen. It's just changed our lives, like, in the best way possible. The magic of Disney is here and present in these films.